lesson here. First John chapter 4. Beloved, believe not every spirit, but try the spirits, whether they are of the King, God. Because many false prophets, people who see things that aren't really there, are gone out into the orderly arrangement of mankind, the world. Let's check that. Is that Cosmos? Let's see. Uh, yep, Cosmos, the world. So, these false teachers are in the world. False seers, false witnesses. Hereby know ye the Spirit of God. Every spirit that speaks the same language that Jesus Christ, every spirit that speaks the same language of Jesus Christ is come in the flesh is of God. So you're wondering why I said speak the same there, I'm sure. So we'll look it up. Every spirit that homo legeo speaks the same language as Christ from a compound of homo, meaning the same in logos, word. Same word. To say the same thing as another. To agree with. Assent. To concede. Not to refuse. To promise. Not to deny. So to say the same things as Christ. To agree with. Amos 3.3. 3. Can two walk together except they be agreed? And Jesus said to the Pharisees, their father was the devil. So that's a lot different from the things we see being taught in the world today. So, hereby know ye the Spirit of God. Every spirit that agrees that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh. And he has come in the flesh as of Acts chapter 2. He is in our flesh together as a body, as a house, as an agreement of believers in a temple, each one of us being stones in one temple, one God ruling from the temple that we're all a part of together. And every spirit that confesseth not, that doesn't agree that Jesus Christ has come in the flesh, our flesh, is not of the King, God. And this is that spirit of Antichrist, whereof ye have heard that it should come, and even now already is it in the world. People who don't agree. So ye are of the King, God, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. They are of the world, therefore sp therefore speak they of the world, and the world heareth them. Because we all speak the same language, homo legeo, speak the same language, and they speak of the world. We don't agree with them, Amos 3.3. 3. We won't walk with them because we don't agree with them. They are going to hell because they do not speak the same language as Jesus Christ. And that's very sad. And we know that they don't agree with him because they don't speak the same language as him. And the world heareth them. The world hears the world language, as it says um, over here. This says, For then will I turn to the people a pure language, that they may all call upon the name of the Lord, Yahweh, to serve him with one consent. We speak the same language. We confess Christ. Confess homo legeo means to speak the same language. We are one temple, one house, one body, one plant, one building. All of those things. Jesus, son of his own house, whose house are we? Hebrews 3, 6. For whosoever shall call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved, but not everybody calls. And just to say Jesus Christ is Lord is not, ever, even the devils know there's one God and tremble, and they're on the left hand, and they're going to be cast with the devil and the angels into hell. How then shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach except they be sent for all those who don't believe there's apostles nowadays? As it is written, how beautiful are the feet of them that 
herald the gospel of peace and bring glad tidings of good things. But they have not all obeyed the gospel, have they? You know anybody who doesn't obey the gospel? They're going to the hot compartment of Hades and are going to burn for eternity. And there's nothing you can do about it because God has to open their heart so they can believe. So if they don't speak the same language, it's because they're of the world. We speak the same language because God has returned to us a pure language as of Acts chapter 2. And we preach to them because we believe and they reject us because they don't believe. But they have not all obeyed. So then faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Faith comes by hearing. The word of God is a seed. God has to dig the ear, Psalm 140, when it says, He has opened my ears. Open means digged. He digs the ear as with a, an oval when they, I think that's how you say it, when they pierce the ear and he becomes your master and you his slave. Beautiful stuff. I, um, well, I hope y'all enjoyed that little lesson there. Y'all have a great night and hope all of these lessons are helping y'all. All right. Bye.